that is not true. That is not true. There's nothing like snatching. I'm a full grown adult and they will never. Hello, guys. Welcome back again to another entertainment news on Naomi Stock Show. Yeah, so my people, a few hours ago, I posted this same video that has been going on on the internet on my YouTube channel consigning our beautiful Nollywood actress, Mercy Agbe, and her latest husband, Mr. Kazin, the owner of Ibaka TV where they granted an interview to debunk all the rumor that has been going on on the internet for some time now saying mercy saying mercy Agbe snatched mr kazim from his wife on this interview you will hear where the man said nobody snatched him from his wife that him and his first wife they are still very much together they are happy even the wife knows everything concerning uh, Messi, Aigbe. You know, a lot of things happened on this interview, which I'm going to release for you guys to listen to. But shockingly, the first wife of Mr. Kazim has finally come out to let us know that all is not well in her home. You know, and she said very soon this man will become her ex. According to the wife of Mr. Kazim, she took to her Instagram page, she wrote, Let's get the record straight here. This post is regarding an interview recently going around with my soon-to-be ex-husband in one of his numerous lies. I want you all to know that in contrary to what Mr. Adiote said, I did not and will never settle to have a second wife in my marriage to him. Kazim, you should stop painting a perfect picture of a marriage you clearly do not have my people this one is coming from wife of mr kazim and he also went ahead and wrote to mercy she said i brought you close as a friend because i liked you but you repaid me by sleeping with my husband she also said this to uh, mercy Agbe. but on this interview mr kazim and mercy Agbe said they were never friends I mean, we don't really know who is saying the truth and who is not uh, saying the truth but for the first wife of Mr. Kazim to come out to write such on her page, you know, something is not right. There must be fire on the mountain. When I listened to the interview, I was like, man, this woman, you try, you how can you just allow your husband to marry another wife and you just keep quiet, saying everything is fine. We never know, say she go come out, come write all this one as well. My people, the matter can't get as it be, don't get a leg for Mercy and Mr. Kazim. To me, waiting, Messi Agbe do a very bad thing for you to even accept to marry a man when you fully know, say this man get wife and children, for you to go there to become second wife. You know, you don't already offend God. To me, not just my own uh, opinion, uh, be that. Anyway, my people, make gonna leave on a thought in the comment section. How gonna see this matter we just go on for the internet, you know, and let's not also encourage uh, husband snatching. Because to me, I believe Messi Agbe snatched this man from this woman and a very uh, bad thing. This is now Miss Talk Show, guys. I beg, if you never follow me on this page, do me well to click on the follow button. To follow me and also put on post notification to get notified. Whenever I post any latest news, you'll be the first to get notified. And don't also forget to check my YouTube channel out on Naomi's Gist TV. As I will see you guys on my next one. Enjoy the rest of the video, guys. Bye. Yes. My name is Kazim Madesoji Adeoti. I was born in Lagos about 48, 49 years ago. And um, my parents were native of Oro in the record and local government in Kwara State. Oh, wow. Yes. Uh, they are both late. I started my uh, education at Oro Nursery and Primary School. It was a boarding school at a very tender age. And um, I attended um, Surulay Secondary School. Uh, and um, I got an admission into the University of Joss. I studied business management. And after then, I relocated to the US. I, I worked as a security man for a while. And I went back to school to obtain uh, a mortgage license. So I practiced 
as a mortgage broker in the state of Minnesota for almost a decade before I relocated back to Nigeria. And I started the business of uh, movie and uh, film productions. Yeah. Ibaka is not just for me, I'm a co-owner and a co-founder, but I'm the chairman of Ibaka TV. And um, yes, but I started Adekas Productions and later on when we realized that um, you know, we needed to upgrade because the world was becoming to digital, digital uh, world. So we needed to be proactive. And, um, you know, I met with some of my directors and everybody had their own contribution, whether with talent, with money and whatsoever. We came together and we started the backer. So uh, we are doing very well at Adekas Productions. But we are doing way better at Ibaka TV. So you are the only Ibaka TV. Um, uh, the MD mm -hmm. called Blessed Idonije. Uh, equally, have a director called Ayodele Aulaye, is based in the US, mm -hmm. and another person called Doctor Olani, based in Canada. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. You know, I want to believe that every individual is a politician. And um, irrespective of class, religion, age, tribe, or whatsoever, it is our responsibility to, to be part of politics because it's all about governance. And as we all know, democracy is a uh, government of the people made by the people and for the people so we just have to be part of it because whether we like it or not it is all about us so whether it is active or inactive we are politicians so i love my community so much because uh the pedigree that i have my father was somebody that loved his community so much and he did so well for his community and um, I love my father so much that I believe in his dream I believe in his legacy and I believe in you know carrying on from where he left you know the good works he was doing to his community so it's something I've always been doing whether I'm coming out now to say I want to be active I've always been in politics and I've always been around for my people, especially my native uh, states and uh, to be precise, or my community. Like I want to believe that uh, people have accepted her uh, as my wife. Even the last post I have on my page it's all about celebrating her. The kind of comments I've had over 600 comments from people and it's all about love, all about congratulations, all about you know, positive prayers. vibes and prayers and all that. So, you know, it is what it is and um, it is my choice and we are happy together. So, uh, and whether people like it or not, they just have to accept it. She never did. She never did. No. No. I, like I said earlier, I'm blessed with two beautiful women. So nothing has crashed. So we are good, you know. Can't you see how blessed I am? Two beautiful women. And, you know, nothing, nothing is shaking, no shaking. I'm good. So we are good. And please, I just want to tell Nigerians, please, I am not the first person to be a second wife. It is my choice to be a second wife. And I'm happy with it. So please, I want you to just leave me alone. Let me just be happy. If you, if, you can, if you can be happy for me, be happy for me. If you're not happy for me, well, go and get busy. I don't know. But just please, but on a more serious note, it is my choice. I'm happy. So everybody should just leave me. Let me enjoy my marriage. Please. 
and I want to use this medium to also educate some people that you know a lot of married men are out there fornicating committing adultery having multiple women yes. partners and their wife no their wives know and they pretend as if they don't know so which one is even better is it to do what is right you know what is godly and what is morally sound or to be committing adultery or you know i don't know it's even risky spiritually health wise morally so i just think that you know uh a, you know a lot of people are hypocrites and you know when you you know when you are bold enough to do the right thing whether they think you know you shouldn't do i don't know but i think that i've done what is right and i think i've done what is godly which i so much believe that you know a lot of people are going to be making reference to me in the nearest future that i've done something very wonderful wondering who the owner is so oh, the owner yes the owner the owner the owner and i have been calling myself aya the owner so the owner is a pet name i coined for my boo and um i came up with the name because of you know the way we connected the undiluted happiness this man right here makes me feel the joy the peace and i just felt oh this is the rifle like this is who okay this is my adam like i am 100 percent sure that god took me out of him like he's the rightful person and that's why i gave him the owner so that's actually a nickname for him yes it's a pet name for okay. him okay. yes okay so whew, uh, i don't want to get emotional actually I said I wasn't gonna get emotional mm -hmm. and I'll try like as much as possible to just have it all in control. Okay, so you know before now I had a very very bad breakup, like and so after that marriage, that bad marriage, you know, I made up my mind that I wasn't going to hook up with anybody anymore. I was just going to focus on my career and my kids. And then this good looking man comes into my life. At first, I was like, well, I felt the connection, the chemistry, um, the companionship. Anytime I'm with him, I don't want to leave. You know, and you know, I felt it, it felt good. And then when he asked me to marry him, he's, he's a Muslim, by the way, I was like, marriage? No, I wanted to run. At first, I was like, so I don't. That is your last experience really scared you about. Yes, it did actually, and I just felt marriage wasn't. I don't think marriage is my thing because I didn't want to go through all that anymore because I'm very emotional and uh, I just felt I didn't want to go through all that wahala anymore, and I was just going to focus on my kids and you know my career, and for a very long time I did that for like close to five, three years there about actually, I did that. I was just more focused on my career and my kids and then you know he came into my life but he brought so much happiness i'm not saying this because he's here he brought so much joy you know so much peace he's a good man i tell him all the time that he's a good man and then when he popped the question i was like okay 